Hey everyone, can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. We hear you. ¿Y me pueden ver? Yes, right now. Okay, perfect. Okay, it's good to see you again in class. How are you, everyone? ¿Cómo estuvo ese día? Was very busy. Easy or busy? Busy. Busy, why? Because um, I went to make uh, many activities. Really? Like what? In the morning, I I got a a meeting with my workmate because one of them, um, uh, it was his uh, birthday, mm -hmm. and we were in a in a meeting. But aren't you in a vacations? Yes. <laughs> so Only why? One day more. <laughs> oh my God! Only why? One... Why they called you mm -hmm. if if the if if you are in your vacations? What happened right 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 there? <laughs> yeah, because it's a a tradition uh -huh. when uh, work made is on uh, on birthday. <clears throat> we got a meeting. Oh my God! Even when you are on your vacations. Right, even. It isn't fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it isn't fair. <laughs> I mean, vacations is like to be free, to rest, to sleep, um, to do your things, right? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, isn't fair that you need to, um, to, to connect to a meeting when you are on your vacations. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> yeah, but anyway. Was it early? Yeah, it was in the morning because um, it was a uh, breakfast. And you were from your we... home? Hmm? Were you from your home? No, uh, we, we got the meeting in Pizza Hut. Ah, yeah. It wasn't like a virtual meaning it was like um physical right pizza hut physical oh. right mm -hmm. okay we, but we, you ate delicious we stayed there yeah it was a breakfast and we were talking about uh, many uh, many things mm -hmm. okay excellent um it's like um, a little bit confused because I I wouldn't I wouldn't do that like to go to a meeting when I am on your vacations because I think that I, if they are my vacations I supposed to sleep in my home and not going anywhere but it's okay if you if you do it and um, I think it was important to you so you needed to come right yeah it's okay. Okay, excellent. And what did you do in the afternoon? In the afternoon, I I finished some activities at home. And um, almost uh, about half hour, I finished. Uh-huh. Okay, and at your home, like home shores? Yeah, home activities. Okay, excellent. This is like the home shares. Um, they are always like so many things to do in home, right? Isn't isn't enough work when you are on home? You clean your home or cut the grass or doing all of these things, and tomorrow you need to do it again. So sometimes it can be bored and it can be exhausted because they are always some home share to do. Um, I I had to 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 do a lot of things today, but 
I I wake up pretty early, pretty, pretty early because I needed to to take my my cat to the hospital. And um after of that I I had a a medical medical check and I needed to to be like in the at in the Unidad Medica at 9 a.m. And when it was 9 a.m., I was in the hospital and I was like um praying for me because um you know like the is um no sé si, si todos tienen is pero si tienen is o además alguno sabe que cuando le dan una cita y usted no va a las siguientes como tres meses después. So I really needed to 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 went there. I needed I really needed to went there and I drive the fast that I could. Manejé lo más rápido que pude. And even I I I could I could have like an accident because I I don't like to drive so fast in this country because all the people are a little bit crazy when they are driving, and se te meten en frente y todo eso. So I I I don't like it. Um, no me gusta manejar muy rápido porque siento que la gente es muy es muy impulsiva, es muy impulsiva y no respetan las leyes de tránsito, se tiran los semáforos en rojo. So I I don't like it, but I needed to do it because I have that that medical check and um it was too late. So I went there and it was late when I when I when I when I came, but um the doctor was there and she has another medical check after me, but the girl who um who had it didn't come. So uh lucky me I could I could get in. Uh it like was a miracle because I really I know that if I couldn't get there at time, I will have the the um the the medical check like in three months later. So it was like a little bit about my morning. It was just my morning. Eso fue solo mi mañana. Yo sabía la que que si no llegaba a tiempo me van a dejar la cita para dentro de tres meses. But lucky me, tuve suerte y pude pasar, aunque llegué tarde. And um, it was cool um, because I, 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 I could get into, get into the, the, um, and the medical check. And then I came to my home and I took a, 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 a pill. I, I took a pill, so I I felt so sleepy and I want to to sleep, and I sleep all the day. I didn't exist today, guys. Yo no existí hoy. Hoy el día completo fue dormir, dormir y dormir. Um, de hecho me desperté hace como media hora. Me desperté hace como media hora. So um, like Very I. Nice. I Yes, I needed to rest because I wake up so early right now. No me gusta despertarme tan temprano porque luego siento sick. que no funciona. Sorry? Your cat is still sick. Yeah. Um he's like um trying to get better. Está en ese proceso como de mejorar. Eh, lo sigo llevando al hospital porque le cambian el vendaje de la operación, le hicieron una operación. So, le sigo llevando para que le cambien ese vendaje y así. So, yeah, he's a little bit sick right now, but we try to control it. Todavía tratamos de controlarlo, of course. Okay. okay. So, it was a little bit about my day. And I'm so glad to hear about your day. I think, like, we are just eight. Oh, my God. Pensé que habrían más. Estaba esperando a ver si aparecían los demás y solo somos ocho. But we can continue with you because it's time. Ok. Patricia dice que estará de oyente okay. por razones de salud. Ok, Patricia, thank you for telling me. Ok, Patricia va a estar de oyente. Ok, so I think we can start because the other classmates isn't here and I can't be waiting anymore. So I'm going to show you my screen. Les voy a mostrar mi screen.
Creo que no le cambié el topic a esto. May I take your order? Yeah. May I take your order? This wasn't the topic. That was yesterday's topic, remember? But we didn't talk about it. Um, this this is like neither in either. I'm so sorry. Perdón que no se lo cambié, no me di cuenta. Pero ya lo tengo. So we're like talking about different things because we are still using the modal verbs. Don't don't um don't think that we are not going to use it anymore. It's so important and we're going to use it like when we are talking, as you can see, when I am talking about my date, I use a different uh, modal verbs because they are so important in English. And um in the conversation that we are reading, they are like a little modal verb. So and they are like a little dialogues that use the modal verb so you can use it we're going to continue uh practicing it and at the same time we're going to see another things that we need to do and uh yesterday topic was may i take your order and we're supposed to talk about uh food but we didn't because it wasn't enough time and we're going to see it today but we're going to talk about neither and either again. Well, neither and either this time. No, again, no. And this time. So, First time. yes, of course, we did. We didn't saw it yesterday. Like uh, sometimes I have like a little big agenda and like one hour isn't enough for that agenda. And I need to 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 um to take the most important topics to you. So you can know at least um la mayoría de las cosas, right? So this is neither and either, and we're going to see a little bit about the food too, because um it's a little vocabulary about it. And the topic for just today was may I take your order? So we were we are going to see like a little things about the food and how you can take an order. When you're taking an order, the people usually use may, okay. May, if you remember, may was the, the modal verb, the yesterday modal verb. We practice it. And is the modal verb that we can use to take an order or to order something because it's like a polite modal verb and you can use it to to um to to request something to someone when you want to be polite. And when you are taking an order, you are talking with someone that you don't know. And these people um, deserve your respect, right? Las personas que están eh, tomando la orden también merecen el respeto necesario. So uh, when you're taking an order, you use like me. Okay, you use like me. And you say, uh, may I take a cheeseburger with French fries? and a uh, strawberry tea, for example. That's the things that I order when I come to Burger King. So um, May is when you want to take an order because it's polite, okay? Porque es educado, se utiliza para poder pedir las órdenes. This is May. So that was the topic for yesterday, but we're going to continue today. And first of all, we're going to see, well, of course, the reading. We're going to do the reading. Ahorita sí funciona la plataforma. Ahorita sí se los puedo poner. Me avisan cuando la vean. Yes, it's okay. We can see. Okay. We can see it. Excellent. So this is a little conversation about ordering a meal. And this is like, uh, ordering a meal is like cuando usted está ordenando, sí, una comida. And um, as you can see right here, you're going to see some uh, modal verbs to, to do this thing. So we're going to um, we're going to read it, okay? They are looking for this. So I I need two volunteers for help me to read. Necesito dos voluntarios que me ayuden a leer. Edwin, okay. Edwin, you're going to be the waiter. Vicente, okay. Vicente will be the customer. Go, guys. Okay. You begin, okay. my friend. Um, 
May I may I take your order? Yes, I'd like the lamb kebab. Kebab, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. And would you like a salad? Yes, I have a mixed green salad. Okay. What kind of dressing would you like? We have blue cheese and vinaigrette. Blue cheese, please. And would you like anything to drink? Yes, I would like a large iced tea, please. Excellent. Thank you so much. I want you to see something. Está esta contracción. Se los voy a poner aquí por el chat. Esta contracción. Que es algo que está, vamos a ver mañana. Perdón, ¿qué contracción es esta? Uh -huh. Let's see the chat. <laughs> ok. Sorry. Es I will. Es la contracción de I will. Ok. This is like the contracción of I will, que es yo voy. Ah. I mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Excellent. And the other contraction is I would. Yes, I'd like is uh, I would, I guess. Exacto. I'd. The first one is I'll and the second is I'd. Okay. Yo sé que cuando se habla inglés, cuando se están, estamos hablando en, en inglés, es muy posible que las pronunciaciones no nos salgan como súper, súper específicas. Por ejemplo, hay muchas personas a las cuales la ID a veces no se les escucha mucho cuando están hablando en inglés, pasa mucho dentro de las canciones. Por ejemplo, que no se escucha como que sí pronuncien bien fuerte esa T o esa D al final. Pero sí, lo importante es que usted conozca que el verbo lleva esa ED y así qué pronunciación tiene. Entonces, eso mismo pasa con las contracciones con I'll and I'll que son las contracciones de I will and I will, y no suenan tan distintas cuando usted está hablando, pero eh, son muy similares. También quiero destacar, y es algo que vamos a ver mañana también, la diferencia entre cómo, eh, entre cómo utilizar I will y I will, que es el topic de mañana, I will and I will. Okay. Que um, son muy parecidos y ambas se utilizan para futuro y para cosas que ustedes harán y que no están seguros. So, vamos a ver ese, esa diferencia mañana. Por eso les quería dar esto para que ustedes vean que estamos utilizando diferentes model verbs. May, that means, eh, well, may, that is for to take, eh, for to be polite, it's to be polite, sorry. And it's, it's a model verb and we have like, would, like, I would like a large iced tea, como quiere un, un, un iced tea, like, me gustaría, I would like, ok, this is like the, the contraction, la contracción, ok, so this was the little conversation about it, do you have any questions about it? No? Which one is? I I like the contraction or yeah esto que ven acá esa es la contracción I'd like es I would like like I would like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. y I'd es la contracción de I would mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would exactly. I'd and, and we pronounce I'd like I'd yeah. like I'd like I'd como decir literalmente mm -hmm. a I'd I'd mm -hmm. yeah of course like that Okay, so another question? Um, what mean, what that mean uh, in the second line when the customer says, yes, I like the lamb ki kebabs. What that mean lamb Yeah, kebabs. the lamb kebabs. Lamp es, es oveja y kebab son brochetas. Oh, my. Ajá, exacto. Lamp es It's oveja. A, a piece of oveja. <laughs> yeah, una brocheta de ovejas. ¿Han visto esas brochetas que hacen como de carne? Están como, es un palito y tiene como varios pedacitos de carne, le ponen cebolla y cosas así. ¿Lo han visto? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like that. It's like that, pero de, de, le está okay. pidiendo de oveja. Yeah. Y nosotros, perdón, okay, nosotros le decimos pinchos, los famosos pinchos. Pinchos, right. Mm -hmm. Exacto. 
Nosotros le decimos pinchos, exacto. Aquí en El Salvador les decimos pinchos. Ex excelente. Yeah, like, yeah. Kebab. Mm -hmm. It's like pinchos. This is kebabs. And it's like the word in English to say pinchos. Es la palabra en inglés para decir pinchos. Que eh, también se utiliza la palabra brochetas. Por ejemplo, en, la, en Argentina utilizan brochetas. Nosotros en el, en, en el Salvador les decimos los pinchos, right? Los pinchos, of course. It's the same thing. Okay. Another mm -hmm. question? No, teacher. Sí. No, it's okay, teacher. Thank you very much. A pleasure. Okay. Excellent. So we're going to stop this and we're going to go to the... Vamos a ir de nuevo a mi presentación. Just like before, I can see that you sure you can take it. But I know you won't. Avísenme cuando la puedan ver. Ready. Ready. Okay. First of all, antes que nada, quiero saber si alguien tiene alguna pregunta sobre los modal verbs que hemos visto. Que han sido cuatro hasta el momento. Ya, yeah, cuatro. Can, could, may, should. Han sido cuatro. Sí. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre qué son o cómo usarlos? No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to learn about a little of of the of the food, and then we're going to see neither and either. Okay. So I would like to have a volunteer to help me to read this image. Para ayudarme a leer esta imagen. Trata de hacerla lo más grande que se pueda para que lo puedan leer. This is like the first, the food first. Gracias, Jose Oscar. Okay, Jose Oscar helped me to read. This is the food first. Y son como las comidas que se tienen registradas desde hace muchísimo tiempo. Sí, no es que aparecieron ayer, sino que se tienen registradas desde hace un montón. So, Jose Oscar, please help me to read. Desde noodles hasta the hamburger. Complete it. Okay. Noodles. Coffee. Todo lo que dice de, además yeah, de please. Uh -huh. Not less. First made in China. Circa. <laughs> Los números no sé. Hundred. Hundred. Ah, one hundred. This is. No, no, no. This is thousand. Thousand. Ah, one thousand. Uh, coffee first. Lyman in the Maldives. Yes. Uh, uh, eight. 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 French press first made in Belgium sixteen uh, ninety sushi modern style sushi first made in Japan <laughs> in Japan. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's mute. Yeah, Oscar, you there? I can hear you now. Okay, ya no escucho a Oscar y no sé si le pasó algo. Who wants to continue with this? Quizás se le trabó el internet o algo parecido. ¿Quién, ¿Quién quisiera continuar desde sushi? Vicente. Ok, sushi, eh, desde sushi, please. Begin sushi, ok. <clears throat> sushi, modern style sushi, first made in Japan. Seventies. ¿Es ok, seventies? 
and Or I seventy. prefer to say like hundred, uh, like one hundred eight, um, One thousand seven. One thousand eight hundred, one thousand seven hundred. I don't know what happened. Sorry, se me trabó It's toda okay. la lengua. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay, the other one, the sandwich, name for the English. Earth. No. English. It's very small word. It's Earl. Earl is the name of the person. English Earl. Okay. Of sandwich in seventies, seventy sixty. Pizza, first pizza in New York City opens in eighteen ninety five. The hamburger invented in Connecticut, USA, in. One thousand nine hundred. Okay, perfect. Thank What you. What are so the much. who's uh, ah okay that one the right. Yes. Thank you both of you. Gracias a los dos que me ayudaron a leer. Okay, this okay, is like the welcome. food first. Where you can see that they have the noodles, the coffee, the chocolate, the French fries, the sushi, the sandwich, pizza, and the hamburger. Uh, dato curioso sobre la comida. La hamburguesa en realidad no fue inventada en Connecticut, Estados Unidos. Yo sé que eso aparece aquí. Eh, usualmente los manuales inglés provienen de, de, de Estados Unidos. La hamburguesa tiene el nombre hamburguesa porque fue creada en Hamburgo, Alemania. Y es original de Alemania. Sí, la primera hamburguesa fue creada en Hamburgo, Alemania. Y por eso se llama hamburger. De Hamburgo. Ya. Yeah. So, okay. dato curioso. <ríe> Dato curioso. Ah. Ajá, aquí dice que fue inventada en Connecticut, Estados Unidos, pero no. Y lo sé porque lo vi en, lo vi en clase. Bueno, hice una investigación sobre eso. No me pregunten por qué hicimos una investigación de eso. Pero hicimos una investigación de eso. And... Maybe it's your favorite. Sorry? Maybe it's your favorite. Yeah, they are they are so delicious. I really love the hamburgers. Um, I prefer it like the chicken hamburger, but of course I can eat like all of types of hamburger because mm -hmm. they are so delicious. But they were um invented in Hamburgo, um Germany, in Hamburgo, Alemania. Okay, so you can okay. see um this is like they are like introducing um this type of food that we all have. Sorry, we all have eaten sometimes, que todos hemos comido alguna vez. And um, this is like, um, like their first um, invented or the first time they, they appear in, in, in the world. Like noodles, que son como los espaguetis que fueron hechos en China, right? El, el BC que ustedes ven aquí después de dice circa 1000 BC. BC es before Christ, antes de Cristo. Sí, before mm, Christ, antes de Cristo. Very old. Yeah, of course. Sí. Eh, ya saben que la mayoría, bueno, en, 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 en los países, en los países católicos, los países católicos o que tienen alguna, alguna conexión con el cristianismo, el tiempo se mide eh, antes y después de Cristo. Hay otras culturas donde el tiempo se mide distinto, pero al menos nosotros lo leemos antes y después de Cristo. So, this is the noodles, the coffee, the chocolate, the french fries, the sushi, the sandwich, pizza, and the hamburger. For this, I would like to tell you about these things. They are like adjectives. ¿Se acuerdan que esto les dije de que los adjetivos? Vimos los adjetivos y adverbios al principio. Y aquí hay algunos adjetivos que ustedes pueden utilizar también para describir a los alimentos. For example, healthy. Okay, healthy. Healthy means saludable. Que okay, healthy means saludable. Todo eso que es bueno para el cuerpo. De hecho, um, si ustedes lo piensan, nada en exceso está... Nada que, nada que no esté eh, probado en exceso está tan malo. Si, sí, por ejemplo, comer pupusas que tienen mucha grasa no es malo. A menos que usted coma pupusas 24-7 todos los días. Ahí uh -huh. se le va a hacer mucho daño. Ok. So, this is healthy. To be healthy. Estar saludable. So you can, you can qualify the food as healthy. Usted puede 
calificar la comida como saludable. ¿Sí, Vicente? Only vegetable or salad. Yeah, of course. Fruits, for example, they are healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Excellent. We have greasy. Greasy, that's the second one that means grasoso. For example, the uh, the, the fries. Uh -huh, the fries, yeah, the French fries or any kind of fries. It's greasy porque se, se fríen. So this is greasy, grasoso. We have salty. Salty, that means salado. Yeah, like the popcorns, they are salty. You, you can put it like salt. Well, they are made with salt. And this is like salty, salado. Tenemos rich, that means, uy, that means rico, right? To like, and to be rich. When Good. you like, or, um, are talking dessert. about something, sorry? Uh, dessert, or what is that? Rich. Rich. Es, es rico, es como sabroso, es, es, es a sinónimo of tasty. Tasty, like, mm -hmm. like this. Okay, good. Ay, se le fue la conexión a José Oscar, por eso ya no lo vimos. Ok, thank you so much, José Oscar. No se preocupe, terminamos de leerlo y gracias por su participación. No se preocupe. Yeah, rich is a synonym of tasty. Ok, tenemos spicy. Spicy, that means picante, like the Mexican food. Mexican food is spicy. Spicy, okay. right. Yeah. Delicious, that means delicioso, and bland, that means como suavecito. Also, you can say like, um, like soft, okay? Like soft, when you say soft, is like, um, Suave. blando también. Bland and soft, ambas cosas están bien. Así, soft. Por ejemplo, el soft cheese es el queso fresco. Soft cheese es queso fresco. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, porque como es, es, es todo blandito, les dicen soft cheese, right? La soft cuajada. Es blandito. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions um, hasta aquí? No, okay. okay. No, perfect. So, ahora sí vamos a pasar a la siguiente. Neither and either. Okay, look at this. Neither and either. Primero que nada, quiero que no se sorprendan si escuchan más de una pronunciación de estas palabras, ¿ok? Yo les explicaba hace unas clases, creo que fue a ustedes, que hay palabras que pueden pronunciarse de una forma en un lugar y luego de otra forma en otro lugar y significan lo mismo. Eh, como agua, que es water. You can pronunciate it like water or like the water and it's okay. Neither and either también tienen una doble pronunciación. Hay personas que les dicen a neither, le dicen neither, o le dicen neither. It's okay. Neither. Hay mm -hmm. personas a quien either le dicen either, o hay personas a quien les dicen either. Ok, and it's okay. No se sorprendan si hay, si alguna palabra tiene más alguna pronunciación, porque responden a contextos distintos, ok, a lugares distintos. Puede ser que yo lo pronuncie de una forma, eh, por ejemplo, incluso en el mismo país, a veces pronunciamos diferentes las cosas o le damos diferente significado a las mismas cosas. Ahora imagínense en diferentes países, right? So, neither and either. Yo le digo neither and either and you can say neither, either or neither and neither too, ¿ok? Para no complicarles mucho esta parte, vamos a ver neither, either and both. Neither, either and both, ¿ok? Son tres, neither, either and both. Both. Either, either, que es esta que está, ay, mi puntero, aquí. Either means ninguna, ok, ninguna. Neither is you want to talk about ninguna, ok. Neither, is, this is either, ninguna. Y it's a positive word. Either es una, es una, es una palabra positiva. Cuando alguien le pregunta... Eh, well, se les voy a explicar más o menos Se puede decir primero las tres Either es ninguna Neither es cualquiera Y both significa ambos Ok Neither, eh, perdón, either ninguno Neither cualquiera Both ambos Ok So you can see Puse una, una pregunta y le di tres respuestas di distintas Para que ustedes puedan ver Cómo es que se utiliza estas tres Which drink, ay, aquí le puse drink, pero imagínense la K. Yeah. 
Le, se me, fue un, un pequeño error, no me di cuenta que no tenía la K. No problem. Which drink do you prefer? Coffee or chocolate? Es una pregunta. ¿Qué bebida mm -hmm. prefieres? ¿Café o chocolate? You can say, either one. I don't like the drinks. Ninguna. No me gustan esas bebidas. Either one. Either one. Ninguna. Estoy diciendo que ninguna de esas me gusta. Que okay? ninguna. Si yo digo, neither one, you can choose. Estoy diciendo como cualquiera de las dos. Elegí la, la, que, la que te salga primero. O, o la que esté más caliente, por ejemplo. No me importa si me traes chocolate o café. El punto es que me traigas algo de tomar. ¿Sí? Cualquiera. Neither one, you can choose. Ok, neither one. Ah, es como cualquiera. Either para decir ninguna. Neither para decir cualquiera. And both, that means ambos. Ok, ambos. For example, uh, which drink do you prefer? Coffee or chocolate? But of it. I'm pretty thirsty. Los dos, estoy muy sediento. Tráeme café y chocolate también, vea. <laughs> right? This is both of it. I'm pretty thirsty. Thirsty es sediento. Sí, que se está muriendo de sed. This is thirsty. Okay, the trick to remember this is like neither is a negative word and either is a positive, okay? Neither is una, es una respuesta negativa and either is una respuesta positiva. Yo sé que se pueden enredar un poquito con esto y por eso no sabía si ponérselos de esta forma porque cuesta explicarlos un poquito y quisiera que se quedaran con estas tres cositas que están acá. Con ay. Con estas tres, con either ninguna, neither cualquiera y both ambos. Pero les quería poner este ejemplo. Por ejemplo, he was neither smart nor pleasant. No era ni inteligente ni, agra ni agradable. Aquí estoy hablando de algo negativo. Sí, no estoy hablando de ninguno, sino que estoy hablando de que no era esa persona, no era ninguna de las dos cosas. Sí, no era ninguna de las dos cosas. Yo digo, él no era ni inteligente ni agradable. He was neither smart or pleasant. Él no era, él no era ninguna de las dos cosas, ¿ok? He was, is like, él era, neither, ninguna. Y si digo que es smart and pleasant, estoy hablando que no es ninguna de las dos. Ni smart ni pleasant, ninguna de las dos. Por lo tanto, no era ni inteligente ni agradable. And either is a positive word. Like, you can either stay at home or come with me. Puedes quedarte en casa o venir conmigo. Le está dando dos opciones. Esta parte que estamos viendo aquí abajo es cuando le dan opciones. Sí, cuando le dan opciones. And you can say either and neither pa para poder responder. Sí, cuando usted dice you can either stay at home or come with me, estamos hablando de que puede escoger cualquiera de las dos. Puedes quedarte en mi casa, sí, o venir conmigo. Right? Es una oración positiva. En cambio, la de arriba es una oración negativa. Por lo tanto, neither, que es es cualquiera, no eh, se utiliza, perdón, neither que es cualquiera se utiliza para lo negativo. Pero quisiera que nos quedáramos con estas tres, estas, estas tres cositas que les puse acá. Esto más que todo para poder entenderlo. Either ninguna, neither cualquiera y both ambos. ¿Ok? Estas tres cositas creo que sean las principales. Do you have any questions at this point? Teacher, uh, one thing. Tell me. <clears throat> Um, I'm using right now um, the translator and the, and the first one, either, either mean uh, cualquiera. I don't know if there is a mistake or, or not. And the other one, neither, neither mean ni. Ni. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. Será que yo lo puse al revés. I don't know. Uh, I'm using my translator and... Uh, El de Google. No, no, no. This is another one. For example, either. Either says... Sí, no, no, no. Tiene razón. No sé por qué acabo de verlo. Porque neither es una palabra. Es una palabra negativa. Tiene más sentido. My apologize. Mm -hmm. Either... Cualquiera. Cualquiera, ajá. Y neither es ninguna, no es ni es ninguna. Ajá, ajá. My apologize, right. I'm so sorry. Sí, no, no sé por qué cuando le estaba poniendo no, no, sé, no, no me di cuenta que lo había puesto mal. I'm so sorry, ya. Yeah. Porque Don't como worry. es una palabra negativa, sí tiene mucho sentido. De hecho, que, uh -huh. que neither eh, sea el, el, el cualquiera 
y neither él ninguna. I'm so sorry uh -huh. for that. Mi, mis, my, mis, ay, mis disculpas porque me equivoqué. Don't worry. I'm Don't so worry, sorry. Teacher. We're gonna help you. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Yeah, of course. Like, uh, look at this. I, I made my mistakes, right? Yo hago mis, mis propios errores también. And it's okay because uh, I don't know, like, at all of the language. And even I don't know at all of the Spanish, right? A veces no sé todo el español. Es imposible que sepa todo el inglés también. So, of course, don't worry. Um, I'm so sorry for that. Lo siento si me equivoqué. <laughs> don't worry. Thank you for telling me. No problem, teacher. Okay, vamos a dejarlo así. Y se los quería poner aquí en el chat para que no se les olvide. Either... Either, cualquiera, neither, ninguna, y both, ambos. Estas tres, ¿ok? Do you have any questions about it? No, it's okay. No. Ok. So we're going to have a speaking activity. This is about me, because we're talking about like a food. What may I order if I come to restaurant in United States. What may I order if I come to resta to restaurant, pardon, to restaurant in the United States? Que ¿Qué, qué ordeno, okay? Look at this. You could you can use may to tell me what may I order. Like teacher, you may order a hamburger with French fries. You may order an ice cream with tea. You may order like um I don't know um like a smoothie. Yeah. Al menos cinco cosas que pueden ordenar en un restaurante en Estados Unidos. Le puse Estados Unidos porque así son bien variados los restaurantes, ¿ok? So, do you have any questions about the, the talking activity? No, we have to, to do it right now or, or... Yeah, of course. Or it's a homework. No, 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 es ahorita. Siempre en las breakup rooms. <coughs> What make... Ok, let me write it. Ok, se los dejé sí. aquí en el chat para que lo tengan por ahí. Ok, y ahí tienen que ser uh -huh. al menos okay. cinco respuestas. Go, guys. Uh -huh. Ok, get into the break rooms, please. Ok.
Ay, otra vez les estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Ok, we are here. Um, who wants to share the exercise? Vicente, ok. I'm listening. I was working with um, Jose Oscar and the other one. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. Maybe he said with, I don't remember the name. Okay, don't worry. Sorry. We complete five uh, sentences. Mm -hmm. First one, the first one is... Um, You may order a sala. You should order a sandwich. Okay. Number three. You should order spicy food. <laughs> okay. Number four. You could order pancake with honey. Okay. Maybe if you are in a, in the breakfast uh -huh. or, or dinner or dinner, I don't know. Yeah, of course. Yes. <laughs> And the last one is, uh, you may try any soup. Okay, I like it. I I I like the 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 one who says like, uh, you, you shouldn't order the spicy food. It was like that, right? Uh huh. The negative. Yeah, of course. Um, it's like a good recommendation because, like, I uh, I think como gastritis y la comida picante mm -hmm. hace mucho daño a la gastritis. So it's a good, right. a good, good question about it. Okay, thank you so much. You did it so great. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. It was like using the different modal verbs. Utilizamos los diferentes modal verbs que son a uh, una parte muy importante. Okay, so I need to know if you have any more questions about the class. It's okay. Okay, so if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to see you tomorrow in class. See you guys. Bye. See okay, you later. See you. Have Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night. Good night. Good night. everybody.